The city is called Pine Grove. This whole place is pretty much just full of trees. We're looking for uh, cedar trees and pine trees, six inch branches, nothing very long. So we make little reefs out of them. Like we collect pine cones, so it's like a little thing, that they, a little tradition that we do every year. They're still cutting the section down here. They still have stuff to pull up. So when they're done with this section, we'll move on and everyone else will move down. Some of these we probably won't use. They might not be big enough. This seems bad. Let's cut this one in half. This is my third year doing this. It's good. It's for a good purpose for the community. They like to decorate Christmas spirit, stuff like that. It's kind of peaceful. Helps you free your mind. I'm from the city. We don't really be out in the forest. Hey, you gave me that? It's very positive. This is something that's new to me, you know, something that I learned over being incarcerated, just that it's not no longer about myself, it's about the people. It's kind of like a second chance instead of going to prison. Big accomplishment, you know, working hard. So far we had two truckloads and probably gonna have a couple more. We've done this program for about 25 years or, or more. The Crew 6 Community Service Program started the program where they went out and collected the pine cones and the swags and then they, the towns um, slowly but surely started to ask for them and it kind of grew from there. You get the pine cones and we have this wire that you cut and the wire's about a couple feet long and you put them and you tie them together. Once you do that, get two branches or three if, you, if, they're, if it looks nice. You just lay them on the floor and just tie those together. After that, and you just put the bow on it, as you can see behind me, and it's there you go, it's done. We normally do 2,500 on a good year. This year we'll do 1,500. Every time I come out here and do it, it feels like I'm celebrating Christmas, and it feels good just to like do something Christmassy, you know? It do make it feel more like the holidays. I don't get to spend time with my family, but I do get to spend time with people that care about me. We got enough to get us through this week. We just got to get through the next couple of weeks. I do see a few of them each year. They'll grasp onto the idea of what they're actually doing to the community. They're part in that. If I'm helping somebody build their joy up for Christmas or build their spirit up, you know, and I just, and then that makes me feel good as a person. The average town here is Jackson and Sutter Creek, I own, so they, they take about 200. And as they come up and they start to collect them and they put them on their trailers, they, they see the end result and that is a community that's appreciative. Thank Sweet, you. Tom. Yeah, good seeing you. Okay. You guys have a good day. Right. Now we'll fill it back up for the next city that comes up next week, so. Christmas is a big time of the year here in Jackson. Being part of this area during Christmas time is different than I think anywhere else I've lived. The decorations downtown, believe it or not, are, are really part of that. One year, we, if we told them we, would, we couldn't do the bows for them, then they would probably throw a fit over that. They enjoy it, they appreciate it, they look forward to it. The parking meters never look the same as they do during the Christmas time. The pine cones are huge. I don't know where they get those pine cones. We actually drive through, we do the creek project, they hang them up in the town and we just can say, yeah, we did that, that's Pine Grove work right there. I feel like I'm helping them out in, in some type of way, you know? I feel like I'm just doing my good deed. I hear a great response. When you mention Pine Grove Camp, they, they know exactly who we are and they appreciate a lot of what goes on. Yeah.